welcome to another cash register today. It's 7.28 uh, Legoland. We stopped by Del Taco, my Del Taco cravings. I went crazy crazy and I've been sick all week so I'm gonna be talking about it I think later. I just wanna get the food in and drive home. But this one is uh, the chili cheese and I messed up my order. I had to go back for one thing and now everything was wrong. You guys know how it is, so chili cheese fries. But we don't have, have Del Taco like at home where I am so I'm like taking advantage of it now. But why not talk about it a lot? The whole week I had a migraine every single day. And guess what? Today at Legoland it started again. So feeling lovely and still stay to the end. Yeah, I like those I like those chili cheese fries. You guys ah, you guys know I'm a fry lover. Simple stuff. So I have another fry. I want a queso fries. They gave me a queso nacho so. Because I was sick all week, my digestion is like really slow. So I don't know how the cheese is gonna work out. Those are done. <clears throat> That's got out I guess with the nachos. Um, this one, I don't know which one is what. They're all looking the same. I guess. I with this one. One is. Oh, what did I get? I get nachos. I get the queso nachos. The chicken and then regular nachos without chicken. I don't know why. I don't know which one is what. Uh, I can't even open it. I only wanted one. The other one should have been fries, but kind of felt like it. So now I'm gonna eat it. I felt it good. You know the problem is when you want something and you're hungry, I haven't eaten anything all day. And you come to the place, you over order. So I did that. Kept on adding stuff and adding stuff. Might screw up my, my cheat day, but I'm like, I'm most likely not, not gonna come uh, past here anymore. So I just order some stuff. Done. I think those were the ones without chicken. Let's get. I want with chicken, I guess. Nachos. See how they compare. Stack up. I like the ones without chicken better. My second one done as well. Now let's go with I don't know. I have a burrito and stuff like that. Oh, luckily I got enough napkins. Didn't expect it to be that messy, but whatever. I'm gonna get out of the bag. Let's start off the taco thing. This one is. Let me see what it is. Fish taco, never had that here. That's how it looks. In case you want to see it. Ah, I will focus on it instead, instead, of, an, uh, instead of Annabelle. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm. Don't like the sauce, not good. Mm. I can always see what, what I used to order here at that taco only, we had the fries. I'm like, yeah, but now that I eat more veggies, but well, let's try some try out some of the tacos and all that stuff, but not not for me. Was it the fish? I don't even know. But this one is what is that? This is, a, this is supposed to be the Asiago chicken thing, I think. No, El Capitano, whatever. What did I, what did I get? Chicken al carbon taco. That's how it looks. It doesn't even look like a picture I saw on the website. So I'm not a big fan of the chicken flavor here. I like it for chili cheese fries here, but not necessarily for the tacos bar. It's just a personal thing. I don't like them. The chicken flavor here. No idea why. Don't ask me why. Last but not least, I have, uh, not the least, I have one more thing afterwards, but last taco I have. No, is that the chicken one? That looks totally different. What is that? Oh, that's. A, I think that's the, the new thing they have. Oh, that's a fish. What I had of earlier? Of oh, earlier, there was the mango stuff, I think. Or well, the honey. Wow, I couldn't even identify it. Earlier was that. No, honey crispy chicken. I, I thought it was something with monk, uh, uh, mango. But this one is the fish because it's a small fish. So this is the fish taco. Oh. Too, too bad I can't identify stuff. I don't like it that much either. This one is um, caramel cheesecake bites. I do get some desserts then. <clears throat> I went to the grocery store. I guess they have some chocolate, some line bars from Germany. They have it like here at Publix in the European grocery section. But the uh, cashier checkout lane was so long, I'm like I can't do that. So the death. The caramel cheesecake. I actually like them. Last but not least, I'm actually kind of full, so that's kind of sad thing. It's called Epic Queso. Asada burrito, so it's steak burrito from Del Taco. 
Doesn't look too too uh, too bad. But luckily, I got steak, not chicken. It's okay. More than chipotle are way better. It's my price as well, so it's not that cheap, All right? Let me see the price. Yeah, it's almost the same price. So, what price? I don't think so. I don't know about that burrito. That's not good. I don't know. I don't feel it at all now. Um, I'm gonna eat half of it and then the rest have have throw away. I'll probably eat it. I'm a little sick as well. Reason why I thought about um, like not starting to cheat, but I wanted to tackle so bad um, because I'm a little bit like migraine wise. I have a lot of pills and like throw up taste. But this, uh, I'm feeling like I have to throw up a little bit. But this taste is just make wants to make me throw up. So uh uh. I have it. Can't eat. It. Can't eat it. Sorry. Right now I'm being sick. Uh uh. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna use half of it. Other half. I have to do something I don't want to, but I have to throw it away. I don't, I don't like it. I have two and a half hours left of driving. I can't, I can't have that in my stomach for that. So, that's it. I'll show the time about everything else. 7.43. I'm going to be back with whatever. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully, I'm not going to be too sick tomorrow. And second try, so back with lunch, breakfast, brunch, I guess it is. It is 12.23, I have no idea how hungry I am. I'm feeling better today at least. So, didn't know what to get, I'm like, I feel like donuts, feel like donuts, so uh, Krispy Kreme came through with a buy one, get a dozen original clays free, so great for me. I want to get the minis, they have new mini ones, like strawberry, uh, something, lemon bar, for a limited time, but, I wouldn't have gotten the free dozen. You guys know I'm a sucker for coupons. To make it worthwhile and Del Taco yesterday was expensive, expensive. It blew my budget a little bit and I over went overboard, didn't even finish it as you guys saw the burrito, but I couldn't eat it at the point. Like I have been sick the whole week. Like I think out of the end of the week, I didn't even fast. Like five of the days, I think I had migraines, three and a half days. Uh, so I had to sleep, sleep a lot and stuff like that. And then, Ate a lot towards the end of the day to keep up, to keep the kids entertained. No choice. So yesterday was the same. Like I came here, came here with the microphone, had to go somewhere, drop something off. So I was almost like close, not close to the living, but was what close to the living. And I'm like, let's drive to the legal land, and then just uh, the stuff hit, hit, and I had to take pills and all that stuff. So it didn't work that well. But fun time, still did the roller coasters and everything for the kids. So. My ramble on right at the beginning of the video because I don't know how much I'm going to talk while I'm eating it. But that location, I went purposely to a location that always has more variety. Guess what? This time they didn't have variety. So that's almost the whole variety I had except lemon filled, which I know I don't like. And I think cake batter filled. I don't. I think I don't like it. So those two I didn't choose. So I have three of those Reese's. I'm going to start out eating them and then explain why I'm because I always show them anyways. I was hoping they have strawberry glazed one or ice. I always forget what they call it. Didn't have that. Only had the chocolate one, so I got the chocolate one instead. I, want, I was hoping it maybe apple fritter or something like that, but no. But I have noticed a trend. Dunkin' Donut and Krispy Kreme. You know the display they have? Okay, the, you know, the US, like, it's kind of like a bakery display, or whatever you guys, like a normal like display you see where the food. Instead of having more variety, they just make a double or triple portion of like certain certain stuff. And it's not the case that they're not busy, like that's always a line. I guess it's just easier for them right now. Or permanent. Maybe they'll take advantage of it. Who knows? But I don't get a lot of variety. But the good thing about donuts is portion control. In case I'm not hungry that much, I can eat them later. It doesn't get cold, it doesn't get stale. I like that I brought the Reese's permanently on the menu in Krispy Kreme. It might be throwing my raspberry filled one, which is my favorite there, off the throne at one point. Like, I like it. I don't know. Who knows? But you guys can see Krispy Kreme one of the next cheat days as well. Because I bought this one, I got this one free. But both count towards the reward membership. After, if you buy 12 dozen, 12 dozen you get a free dozen. I just got my uh, 12 dozen, so I got one free dozen. One of these cheat days, I'm gonna um, use it 
again. So unfortunately, it's only the uh, the uh, really the big dust, not the minis. So I want to get the minis, but not included in the promotions all the time. Let's start out with this one. This one is cream filled, crispy cream filled. That they have they call it cream filled. So a white cream. I got two of those. I think I had one or two um, cake donuts as well. I, I think one. This is I think the sour cream thing. This is called sour cream donut. I think as a cake one. You guys know I don't I'm not a big fan of cake. Exception, exception all the time, but don't want to risk it after yesterday. I choose the two cinnamon sugar ones. The chocolate, I think it's clays. I'm, I'm saying clays, whatever. With sprinkles instead of the strawberry one, so it's just a simple one. Oh, I had a funny story. Not a fun, not fun, not funny, funny, funny. So I take it back. The story, the story. At Aldi's, Aldi's, I saw. I don't know if you have been in Aldi's in the US, but it's normally like around here at least, here in Jacksonville, they have like a special aisle where they put all the weekly sale stuff in. Like every week they have new stuff. <laughs> now, <laughs> I guess they might have gotten a nice shipment. Instead of having a lot of like a weekly sale stuff there, they have one, one full site full of toilet paper. <laughs> I guess, I guess they, they must, must be selling like crazy. I'm like, wow. Free raspberry for once, by the way. <clears throat> Doesn't done. Now is the decision to eat some donuts now and make it three meals for the day. Or should, it, should it make, take a break and eat them like an hour or two and make it four meals, make it a little bit longer to day again. Mm. What a hard decision to make. I guess nobody would want to be in my position to make, how did you do the cheat day? Because I don't know. If I, if I eat it like this, I might be done for the day, almost done for the day. Nah, not eat, maybe one. Hopefully stays with one. You have a hard portion on the bottom, I don't like that, so. Take one off. I realized I messed up. I ripped the top off. I'm definitely going to finish all of them at once. <laughs> I have to put it back on. I still feel bad I had to throw away. I have a burrito yesterday. I normally don't do it, but. It didn't taste good. It would have been horrible, and I know the kids wouldn't eat it anyways. <clears throat> they had like tomatoes or something in there. I forgot already, but uh, stuff happens. Stuff happens. I mean, stuff happens. If it's three times, say it three times, it might be better. <laughs> Uh, not too bad. I got 17 donuts done. It is. Oh, I forgot. I almost checked the time. Here, 12. 39. I'll be back with one more meal. I don't know. I feel like going out. I feel like driving a lot. And the budget, the budget is blown, so it makes it harder to go somewhere if the budget is already done almost for the day. Only a little bit left. I mean, easiest would be technically I can squeeze in McDonald's in the budget because of the 7 of 20. But for me alone right now, uh, I don't want to have so much McDonald's. And I have it every single time. And I don't already had another week anyways. For the kids, we got stuff to do. Um, places to go. So, as a treat. That's it. So, let's be back for another meal and the damage. Last meal of this cheat day and 7.02. Random stuff, you guys remember. I think I didn't do it lately, but all the stuff at the end. I decide whatever I want to eat, whatever I want to eat. So I made myself some White Castle burger frozen because we have a White Castle here in Florida. I didn't feel like going out. Because all the stuff that's local, I say all the time, it's like McDonald's, Burger King, all the stuff I didn't feel like. I didn't feel like driving a long way. Um, so I made those frozen ones. But yeah, yeah, and I noticed like, um, I just added the thumbnail of the two weeks ago um, video or a cheat day upload. And like, it's always like a downturn with like losing weight, gaining weight, 
Now that I have more weight, I like the way that my arms look in the pictures because it look bigger because you, I still like a little bit fat on it and stuff like that. So they're looking bigger, but of course you're gonna have a little bit belly and more, have more love handles, stuff like I'm bigger there, but when, when I'm thinner, I'm gonna get like this thin face and a thin arms, I don't like it. Always a, always a plus and minus of certain certain ways. I just wanted to mention it because I just remembered it. But this one got really hard, the bun. You know, like when you overheat in the microwave, I'm gonna eat this one first. I'm gonna eat, I can't even open it now, let's put it on top. We should have shaken, shaken it. Shaken it. Remember, from, uh, I don't know if you guys know it, but when you wanna shake the ketchup, the water comes out first, I always shake it now, my God. Forgot it. Mmm. And I'm thinking I'm talking really fast right now. And I don't know how to call ketchup. Surprise! I wonder if I should try out a new donut shop um, next time I go to a Legoland. But that would be a total off cheat day because I would have to get it and eat it on the way to in Legoland. And I don't eat anything in Legoland, so it would be there from let's say 10 to 5. It's normally the times right now. And then I would eat afterwards. So it would be a 48 hour cheat day kind of because. All this stuff that works, but I don't know. You guys can let me know. That would be an idea if I find one. I think I've seen in an old Nick Dobier video. I think it was, or was it Nate Figuera, like a long time ago, that went to Valkyr, like the vegan donut shop, and I think they were in Orlando. I think they have Voodoo Donuts too, but they're all universal in a theme park. I think they're inside. I don't think you can get it. But, but that would be. Not a good way to uh, to get to it. I don't know where Universal is. I, you pass it, but getting into it, one when everybody tries to get into the theme park, and we have to go to a theme park as well. I don't think they're open at all. Yeah. Only problem is always eating in the car. Like the way you have to set it up, like it's tricky, and then the kids in there, it's kind of boring, oh, especially at night. Like I did with the taco. It's just so dark. The light gives it bad shining. I mean, you guys cannot see much or good. I don't know if you guys like it or not. Obviously, sometimes you have, you have no choice. Like, the taco, I don't have it here. Orlando is the closest one. I'm not, I'm not buying the food. Try for two, uh, two, uh, it's two uh, I think two or two and a half hours home. We eat the cold, cold stuff at home. Mm -mm. Not going to do that. What I always do is like I go, I go to Legoland inside. I don't eat anything. Drinking, um, I get good free water there. I can do that. Or the hundred plus machine unlimited drink for like eight dollars. I think seven fifty or something like that. We have none of that lately because you use water instead. Bring snacks for the kids. And then when when we leave, that guy's why I eat as well as the taco thing. I wanted their taco, because have other food. So. Oh, that's what I want to talk about, Legoland. <laughs> As always, I'm hit or miss. I don't want to talk about it. If not, I'm going to fast forward through that stuff right now. Sorry, that I'm wrong. you guys are going to have less talk, but. Um, they have like, on busy days, like yesterday, was Martin Luther King Day on, on Monday. Guess more people are off. I have something called Ritual Line. What you do is you sign up, you have an app, Legoland app. There's like five rides, most of them are roller coasters. You have to sign up into it and then you wait, and then you get a boarding pass and go. Once you're inside, they scan you twice. Then, then you can re-sign up for another another ride. So it's kind of tricky. But sometimes the wait time for all those rides are 240 minutes. So four hour wait time. It's better to have multiple phones, but that's not what I want to talk about. Oh, the, the, the about top of which line. I one thing I have to add, sorry. I'm all over the place, but it's funny. They have 240 minute wait time, but sometimes you guys still have to wait after the first boarding pass in the line for 30 to an hour. 30 minutes to an hour, when sometimes you don't have to wait at all. Like, but most, it's at the end of the day. Then everybody always sign up for, for their thing. The system doesn't let anybody else in, but nobody, or some people are left and stuff like that. But other than that, you have to still wait. You wait 240 minutes, and then you wait roughly 30 minutes in line to get on the ride. Depends on the ride, there's one ride. 
uh, masters of flight it's like a couch thing There's, the wait time is insane because it's a slower ride to get people on board board and stuff like that so it always takes longer so there's the first thing you have to do like the driving school they have a driving school for kids first thing in the morning otherwise you're gonna wait a long time in line but what I want to get to but after all that talk is two things happened first time we got stranded on the first roller coaster that broke down while we were on it <laughs> in the sun <laughs> A cool day, but we were right in the sun right before. Well, five ten minutes we had to be in there. I'm like, yeah, that's what we didn't do on the high point. And then, second one, same thing. We wanted to go another roller coaster. And right before we wanted to go to, it broke down as well. So that one broke down a little bit more because I actually had to get the people off the of the ride. Like walk up and get them out. We didn't work 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 out as well. The only thing that work out at Leo then quite a little bit annoying is social distancing. People don't care. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna eat next. Bad thing about it is now that I ate the burgers, <laughs> I want more burgers. <laughs> <laughs> And we're starting to get a headache again. Nice. It might be an off day for me tomorrow as well, but... Now, now that I ate the burgers, I don't feel like cereal. I don't feel like much that I have here. Uh, uh, let's do those, those things. They're like... I, for, I forgot what they are in English. Ah, uh, man. I'm not... Don't walk me on it. It's sour stuff, so I, I, at least I can tell you that one. But I have like one full pack and then one, there's one missing, so I have like 17 of those things. I like them. It's a childhood thing, so I don't think a lot of, like at least my kids don't like them when I gave them one, but I just like them because I had them as a kid. Bring me, bring them back in the memories. Just remem remembered something I always said multiple times, but for the small chance that you're a new subscriber and you, you have children interested in stuff like that, if they're small children, Legoland is your place to be. No. That's why I go there instead of Universal or Disney because of the height requirements. Like most of the rides, I think for 52 or 55 is, a, is, is like. Only a couple of rides, that's, that's, a, that's a minimum. The rest of it, everything is lower, start at 40 inches height. I think 40? Some don't have a height restriction, so. Some of you, you can have the parents and stuff like that, but with the one kid that's not, not, not all the way best one. But universe and stuff like that, they have better, higher height restriction, and age restriction and stuff like that. And you can ride rides, so. Less trauma. We have more than one trial. Because you know how it is when one, when one kid can do a ride, other kid cannot do it because it's not allowed to, based on height or age. Saves the trauma. Well, and as I said last time, the only one thing I don't like is um, when they, they, they cut right, the right times sometimes. On certain rides. If you have been to, to, to the place so many, so many times like I have, you notice that stuff. And if you do the 4D movie in there, you have like a rain part of it and stuff like that, you get literally wet, like really wet. Over, overly wet for the raindrops. It's more like thunderstorm or Florida rain. And the cool thing is, <laughs> well, we did a 4D movie yesterday. You get your own row. <laughs> row. And you get the row in front of you and behind you. Nobody sits there, so you don't have anybody like tall sitting in front of you. You have no problem with that right now. <laughs> you know how that is. I mean, I haven't been to the movie theater personally since. I don't know, don't let me lie, huh? I don't know. What question? I've never been to the movie theater. Oh, probably 2006. That, that long ago. I like more at home. 
watching yourself at home, but you know when you have people in front of you that are really tall, or if you're a child, you know, an adult sitting in front of them, you, yeah, you don't have good experience. You, you don't have the problem right now. So, you have to see the positive in the current situation. I feel like cereal, I don't feel like cereal. Ah, no cereal. Ice cream, time. It's, it feels soft on the outside and hasn't melted before. This one is what Annabelle, my daughter picked out last week. Was last week when they had it on sale. I don't know, what do I need to do? one of the plastic wrappers out. I haven't done the macros for it yet. I have to do that, so I have to do that afterwards. But I don't know what I eat. I don't even know where I stand. Oh, yeah, that's dulce de leche, caramel, whatever ice cream. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I don't know if they told the other story. But the funny, another, another funny story that I read. I think I st already told it. See, I, I don't forget what to say. But I think like, I think like, like certain facts, I think are sometimes hilarious, but it's just me like, like I read, like at least in Germany, all the, all the, um, Sofas and couches are like have a wait list of like sometimes like three to six months because everybody bought new stuff, new furniture. <laughs> Everybody's at home. <laughs> Interesting. It reminds me like way back when all this stuff started. Um, almost a year when we started here. Mm. Because Sebastian had this baptism, like he had a late baptism, he had right. Before the lock, we had a lockdown here in Florida. Literally the last week, and so we got lucky with that. Um, but um, where do I want to go? I don't even know. Now I lost my, I lost, lost it. Mm. Oh yeah, when it all started here, that's where I went. And all the TVs and PlayStation, Xbox were <laughs> sold out at Target. <laughs> Besides the toilet paper, I already see this. Food is taking longer than expected, so I might be a little bit over the 24 hour cheat day mark. So I apologize. Luckily, I kind of pre planned a little bit. I had the White Castle burgers in the freezer. I just bought them. I don't have any chocolate anymore. I had them another week. Oh, yeah, another week. Tough situation right now. You know, you know sometimes when you're like, you're hungry. But you don't know what you want to eat. I'm done with that. Uh, oh, let's have some. Well, I have the. No. No, I'm deciding. I'm have them. I do have do some watermelon things instead. <laughs> Why not? At least I can say that much. Next cheat day is not gonna be that off. Because we're not gonna go to Legoland. We have something else to do, like a birthday party to attend. And I think we're doing an escape room or something like that. So, the second time, because I did it, my first one I did last year for the same, for the same birthday party thing. <laughs> and I'm not good at it. I have to brush up my skills. There's probably some YouTube video out there. I'll explain to you. I think the last time I made a mistake, I didn't really inform myself like how all those escape rooms work, so. Oh, I just remembered a fundamental question about those videos. Um, should I start to reintroduce like the B roll footage, like, like of the um, restaurant, maybe? Drone footage if I get that done by the drone is a little iffy. It's a good drone with, with a good footage, but Florida wind and it's better around this time. It's not gonna do it. The wind is a problem. I have to get used to it again. <laughs> one time I did, one of the first time I did, I have like two different settings and like I did the wrong settings and I was flying away. I'm like, oh no, but to like stuff or me. Do other stuff. The reason why I don't have a lot of that stuff is I'm always around the kids, so it takes, up, it, takes up, it takes a lot of time. I don't have anybody to film me. I'm gonna take a tripod along. My tripod is kind of broken. 
that one leg is like bent, so would not be stable. It's gonna break off at one point. But should I do that? That make the videos a little bit longer, having like some nice footage of something like that. Us having fun, uh, walking to to a place. Also, I'm really comfortable like filming inside of restaurants and stuff like that. Never have been, but. Um, stuff like that, or not, I should just keep it out and keep it like raw eating style. I don't know, you guys can let me know. As that's like always a little bit trickier to do it by yourself. I have two kids running around. Sometimes you just want to, want to get in and out, especially like now with the stuff going on. I just want to sometimes just go in and out or drive through, which doesn't help you. There's nothing, nothing I really I want right now. Like always, there's a bully problem. Pre-planning, without pre-planning, not not willing to travel. Out. Then, of course, I blew the budget as well. So, I got charcoal. I repeat myself. Sorry, but I'm explaining, explaining why. Ah. I'm back because the recording automatically stopped because it's 30 minute mark. So yeah, I totally forgot it was in the groove of talking and talking. But whatever. Keep it short now and make, make it, not making it too long. But I, that's why you always use coupons just to save on the, on the cost. So that's always say Because some of the coupons, you have to buy uh, too much stuff. Uh, and I don't have it in me. And all right, right now I don't have anybody here helping me out, so. But I still, cheeseburger is my favorite at McDonald's. Cheeseburger and fries and sweet tea. I would be happy, with, I'm happy with that. I don't know, don't call me, I don't know, call me crazy why, why, why I like that stuff so much. I think I could be eating, eating it every single day. No idea why. I'm not, I'm not the burger, big burger King person. I'm not a big fan of like extra like seafood stuff like shrimp octopus at one time a fried i liked it but mussels and everything like that i don't know they don't didn't grow up with that i, got, I haven't gotten used to it so and now as an adult it's kind of hard to get used to it like i don't know i had shrimp one time on accident oh, okay but or oh, oh, crabs and stuff like that lobster like you know, like sometimes you get this this thought and praise like a child because you didn't have it and stuff like that. I do have no desire to eat it. I don't know why. So 7:38, as you guys can see, and I am done with eating. I'm actually, re re as I always say, no, actually, no, they're four. It's, it's not what I have at home. Um, but. Fun times, anyways. I like I like going to Legoland. I never liked driving to Legoland. Like as you saw yes, yesterday, like we left at five. We had some bathroom breaks and some bathroom issues going on. Uh, so we only came over like at, at eleven. It's supposed to be a three-hour drive. It took us six hours. Okay, okay, with me eating, getting the food, um, and then try um, and then eating it, filming it, recording it, getting it. And the kids had the separate food, and there was some issues with that with that food as well. It was an in in app purchase, but didn't work at some at, at the first two locations I went to with coupons. So I had to go try to the third location. You can imagine if you go like to multiple locations, that takes out time. So, but yeah, I don't like the drive. Like it takes like roughly six to seven hours, and always on the drive back in Orlando, you always end hit traffic. It's always an accident, but the drive is not fun. But going to Legoland and having fun and seeing the kids laugh—that's Fantastic, it makes it a lot of fun. What my last, um, anyways, so I ramble on again. Made this portion really long. The only good thing is, like, most people uh, switch over at the beginning, and now we have the people that, that care about it, anyways. So, thank you for that. And I have some salt or sugary, whatever they put on there. Oh, yeah, my eyelashes. Um, let's see the damage. And then we're gonna talk about my physique. I hope I'm gonna to adhere to the fasting. No guarantees. If not, I'm just gonna do a little bit of talk. The only thing I don't have is a, is a beginning physique. I didn't make it in time, like driving the legal end and stuff like that. It's, po it's pointless and I, I had cheat days anyways, like <clears throat> at the end, but anyways. So the ramble on, let's see the damage and it's a little bit, only small talk because I did the, all the talking here.
End of the video, another cheat day, another cheat day where stuff didn't work out as planned as always. Del Chaco had better in my memories, but I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. At least the chili cheese fries are good. <laughs> I go to Del Taco for the chili cheese fries. I used to go, and if I go back there now, nowadays, I would do the same thing, just go there for the chili cheese fries. That's just me, fry lover. Anyways, so though I don't have all the footage of my weights and everything like that because uh, off, didn't, if I go and be gone the whole day, I can't do like prior like weight stuff because it doesn't work out like that. So I have the day one afterwards, I so saw the day after the cheat day, I forgot to record myself at night, my weight, sorry for that. So I started the day afterwards at the cheat day, I woke up in the morning at 212.9, then at night, at uh, night. See, I'm already out, oh, totally out of, out of it because I did, didn't record it right. So day two afterwards, so I fasted day one. I came at 208.9. Day two, I fasted as well. So day three afterwards, I came at 204.7. I didn't fast the day, so I stopped recording there as well. So just to say, next cheat day, I'm going to be fasting there as well. So it doesn't work out, but I'm going to have some a small amount announcements next cheat day video in case you're interested in my personal stuff. I talk about it a little bit then and there. I don't want to repeat myself. You can wait for that once. Anyways, anyways, anyways. It is what it is. So next cheat day is a little bit different as well. I decided to go different route, but I explained in that video. That cheat day off. As well. I, I'm, lately my cheat days will be off, all of them. Uh, I have no idea. I'm right now about to do my next cheat day which will be two weeks from this one, the video. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. It might be an off thing as well. I got stuff planned, stuff planned, but next, next cheat day video, you will see, listen to, uh, uh, gonna hear some of the stuff, why and everything else like that. Anyway, so I still hope you like this cheat day or this format. I know you people don't like it. Uh, my subscriber count drops a little bit and stuff like that, but uh, I mean, just wait, for, wait, wait. You gotta get some hints of to my life next uh, video to explain some of the stuff. Ah, so I am looking forward to next cheat day already, already, already. So, anyways, so thanks again for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and then of course, notorious plug for my social media so you can see the sneak previews of stuff. You can see some stuff that goes under the, on under the week and stuff like that. So. Yes, that should be it for now. So sneak preview and then I am out. I didn't know what to do with this cheat day. I had a lot of expense. I'm like, make it simple. I'm gonna do like grocery store kind of theme. Like I just go to one place, get stuff and be done with it, I guess. So Costco was the first one.